All right, guys. So now that we have all that set up, I'm picking up right from the right from the last video. We're gonna want to add a source. So we've already we already have this source down here, just because otherwise I won't be able to show you guys anything. So I do. I just it's just how it has to be, right? So, anyways, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to hit. Uh, you could you could hit a scene if you'd like to, if you want to have multiple sources in one scene, and a scene is like this. So you'd have you know a camera. I don't know, a donation goal or something like that. You'd have a bunch of sources within a single scene. And you can switch between scenes that have different sources placed differently. You know, you could have your donation goal here in your, you know, in your game capture scene, but in your be right back screen, you could put it up here. And it'll just change that all automatically with the touch of a button. And you can do that once again with the remote that I mentioned last uh, last video, or you could do it with just your computer. Just kind of depends. So what we're gonna wanna do here is we're gonna want to hit add source. And I think we've already done that since the last one. What's up guys, future anarchist Masha here. Um, so when I was editing the video number three, the video that you're watching now, I totally forgot that I actually did not show you guys how to set up a source. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quickly. So if you wanna have a monitor source like this one, you can go ahead and click add new source and you're just gonna wanna click monitor or display capture, pardon me. So you're gonna click display capture, you're gonna hit add source, and you're gonna hit add source. It will not look like this, it'll look like this. So you're gonna add a new source, call it whatever you want, display capture, monitor one, monitor two, and then you're gonna go ahead and hit add source. And it's gonna look like this, and you just hit wh whichever display you're trying to capture on. I have two different ones. Um, I don't know why it's not showing up on my second one over here, but we're just gonna go ahead and hit display one. And if you wanna leave this on or off, doesn't really matter, hit capture cursor and hit done. Um, but let's say we wanted to add something else. So let's go ahead and add probably, you'd probably want to have a follower goal. If you're just getting started on streaming, you'd probably want to have a follower goal, right? So we're going to go ahead and hit follower. I'm going to go ahead and add source. I'm going to name it. You can probably just keep it follower goal. And so now we're in this. So this is the sample. This is just the default. So what we're going to want to do is you want to call it something. So instead of my sample goal, it'll say something else. So let's say follow to be a cool kid. Boom. And you want to set your goal amount. Once again, if you're if you're watching these videos and you're an experienced streamer, you might be going for two, three hundred um, or possibly more. Or if you're maybe just starting out, you might want to just and you're just grinding for that affiliate. You just want to set it to 50. Just kind of depends. Maybe 55, maybe 70, maybe 100 just kind of depends on whatever your goal is so you just set that to whatever you want let's just go with five because that's easy and you're going to want to hit starting amount and you might be starting out at more if you're starting out at maybe two already maybe you have some friends that followed you you can start it at two and you choose when you want it to end so whenever you want your goal to end let's say we want it to end uh halloween spooky followers so you're gonna hit done and now you have your your goal down here right so this moves around you can also, if you want, so you can move this around anywhere you want, right? So if you're playing maybe a, like Minecraft, you'd want to have it over here so it doesn't get in the way of your inventory. If you're playing Call of Duty, which I do, right about here is pretty solid because you have like your, your stuff over here and then you have like, I can't exactly remember what's there, tab to drop or something like that. You know, and then you have your reloading, you know, your map up here. So if you put it up here, your viewers might be like, well, I don't know what, where are you on the map, right? So it just kind of depends. Your mileage may vary. You can throw it wherever you want. Um, and it didn't update for some reason. That's very interesting. So let's go back into, oh, I don't think I hit start goal. That's probably why. Spooky followers. See, so nobody's perfect. Even, even I make mistakes and I'm the one who's trying to be teaching you guys, right? Let's try to end at 1031. And start goal. Boom. So there you go. So now you have a spooky followers goal. Um, so when you're in this scene, you want to make sure that the principle is the same with like Photoshop. If you if you used that at all, if your monitor is above your follower goal, it won't. It's underneath your monitor. Think of it like a 3D space, right? So you want everything that you want on top, on top, like in order here. So you you can resize it. You can make it if you really want to be. If you really want to show people what you're trying to do, throw it up there like that. Why not? Um, you know, if, if you want to just, if you want to make it smaller, that's totally fine too. Um, another thing you want to try to think about is making sure that it can be read, right? So this is obviously a very small canvas. This is maybe like an iPad size on my screen. So I could read that if I was, 
watching a streamer and he had that. I, I could probably see what that says, kind of. But yeah, so you'd want to have that. Another big one is uh, you want an alert box. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want add source. You're going to want to go with alert box. It's labeled as essential. So don't discount that. I'm going to hit that. Hit that. Click add source. And now you've got all these great things. So you can have bits, which is when you hit affiliate. I've got some, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've got some ones that I've already got. Um, you've also just got some default ones. You've got donations, you've got merch, you've got subscriptions, follows. So the one that we would probably think about is follows. So mine is a little different. Um, mine won't look like yours just because I've already got I've, I've changed mine a lot, right? So one main thing is you're gonna wanna change your title message. So you can say, welcome, you know, thank you for following. And if you use the squiggly brackets here, you put name, it will show up with their name instead of the, the word name. It'll actually show up with their name who followed, right? So you wanna make sure that that's there. It'll probably have some default text. Thank you for the follow, blah, 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 blah. You can change that if you'd like to. Mine is, my community is called the Mosh Pit. So welcome to the Mosh Pit, you know, blank. Um, you can change your font, you can change your font size, you can change your font weight. There's a lot of, you know, things that you can do. You can have a media file, you can have a sound file, because I have a different GIF that pops up. I also have a different sound file that pops up for a follow. You can have animation, you can change all these things. You, you, you can pretty much customize it as much as you want. You know, you can do your raids, rating with a party, welcome in. You know, once again, same thing, all that kind of stuff. Media, animation, alert settings, whatever. Um, you can, once you, you know, let's say you have hit affiliate or you're really close to it and you're like, I want to start setting up things for subscriptions or bits. So you'd want to hit subscriptions. Once again, same deal, blank, just subbed, welcome to the circle pit, which is what the, you know, people who subscribe, they're in, in the circle pit. I'm a, a metal music fan if you haven't gotten that already. And, uh, yeah, so that you can change your media. I have the Numa Numa just cause it's one of my favorite fucking things ever. Um, and then I've got a sound file that I clipped and made myself from the original YouTube video uh, that for some reason I had saved on my desktop. So there you go. And so that's good. So you've got kind of that set up. You could just leave everything as default if you'd like to. It just kind of depends. And hit done and it'll default to here. And one way to test that everything works, that you've set everything up correctly, is you can go down in the bottom right hand corner here and you can hit test widgets and test follow. Okay, so that was quite loud. So I just wanted I just wanted to try to save your ears, guys. Sorry about that. But yeah, so that's that. Um, so that's how you know that it works correctly. And if you did notice, we started at two. Now we're at three for our follower goal. So that's also another way to test that. Make sure that that works. You can also test a donation. I'm just going to go ahead and mute it. Make sure that it works. So it works. You can test a subscription. Right. You can test bits. You can test a host. It just kind of depends on, just kind of depends on whatever you want. Once you have this, you know, good to go and everything, just unmute that. Um, you can resize this, you can move this, you can kind of change it up, do it however you want. I would probably just leave it wherever it was default, which I don't know where it was, but it was somewhere around there. Just leave that as default because it, eh, you know, you, you want it to be very visible and uh, especially just starting out, followers kind of mean everything because they're people who, I mean, they're clicking a button, but they're taking time out of their day to click a button because they like watching you as a streamer. So we want to try to keep that, make sure that people are recognized for following, for subscriptions, for bits, all that kind of stuff. And once you have that, you have your alert box and a follower goal set up. So the next step is going to be to set up a microphone and to adjust your audio. And we will do that in the next episode. Until next time, thank you guys very much for stopping by. You can visit me on twitch.tv slash anarchistmosher, same as my YouTube and uh, visit me. Come say hi, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.